It has been quite some time since my last long-term review, and that's kind of because I just kind of got embroiled in challenges. I keep challenging myself to try new things, so I kind of got away from the whole distro review thing, so I think it's time to hop back into the experience of reviewing distros, and if you haven't been around my channel long enough to know, I do reviews a little bit differently than all the rest of the Linux YouTubers out there. I don't just hop into a Linux distro and review it. I just don't care for those types of thing. I think those things are boring. So instead what I do is I install the distro on hardware and then I use it for at least a month. So that's what we're going to do. Now my now my plan originally was to do a distribution like Slackware or something a little bit more esoteric if you will. But instead what I've decided to do was try an Old Faithful again. Something that I haven't looked at in quite a while that has a brand new release coming up and that I had some interesting issues with the last time I did a long-term review of it. And that of course is going to be Debian. Now Debian is the grandpappy of them all, if you will. It's the distribution that has been around the longest out of all of them. Well, it's either that or Slackware. They came out within like a month of each other. I'm not sure which one was first. Either way, it's been around for a very, very long time, almost as long as Linux itself has been around. So Debian is one of those distributions that has a lot of storied history, it has a lot of good things going for it, and a lot of cruff to go along with it as well. My last review of it was back when Debian Bookworm first came out, and I figured it's about time for me to take a look at it again. So I'm installing Debian on my system. Now I know what you're probably thinking if you've paid attention to the news. Matt, isn't there a brand new release of Debian coming out? Why don't you wait until that comes out and install it then? Wouldn't that make more sense? Well, I thought about that too, but then I figured what better way to test out a distribution than to test out its upgrading mechanism? How does it fare moving from one version to the next? So I'm going to install Debian Bookworm. When Bullseye comes out, I'll install that one. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. So this is just a short announcement video. I don't have much to say about it yet because I'm still installing it, but I just wanted to let you all know review season is back in town, boys. It's going to be great. Uh, anyways, I'm switching to Debian. If you have things that you'd like me to test while I'm on Debian, I'd love for you to leave those in the comment section below. It'll help me build out a full review as I go along. If there are special dedicated videos of Debian related stuff you'd like to see, leave a comment. Let me know. And make sure you subscribe so you can see those videos when I eventually do make them. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. The links for Libera Pay and YouTube will be in the video description as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel will not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you very, 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 very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. Seriously, thank you so much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.